Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be playing The Sims 2 Pleasant View Episode 7. Today we are going to be with the Burb family. The Burb family consists of John Burb, his daughter Lucy Burb, and his newest daughter that he had with Jennifer, Kathy Burb. Okay, so we're here in the Burb family. I am here with John. I don't know what John's going to do, but it is 9 o'clock in the Burb family today. Lucy and John are outside just playing together spending some quality time together as the family has been going through a sad tragedy in the last year. If you guys may notice in the sim panel over here, sadly Jennifer's not here anymore. She died giving birth to their daughter, Kathy Burb. Here lies Jennifer's tombstone outside on the Burb's property. It is very tragic what's happened to her. Kathy is upstairs. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that John puts her in her crib. Like, this is so bad. Parenting 01, what the hell, bro? I'm gonna make sure I send Lucy to school as well. But there is a lot of stuff going on in this family. Lucy has the want to become friends with Marsha, so I'm definitely gonna have to do that. I think she is trying to reach out and make some friends because she feels very upset and lonely at the moment. It's been very hard for her losing her mother. She doesn't have that guidance anymore she you know has to rely on John now and John is a single father so it's going to be a lot harder for him to care for two daughters but I definitely think that John can get through it because he is a very strong sim it hasn't even been a full sim year yet and John is already rolling once to find new love and to learn some parenting. I think he wants to gain some skills in parenting and reach out to a new love interest and potentially, you know, start a new family because he needs to move forward with his life. He's been grieving for many sim months now and it is finally time for him to get himself back out there again. So I really quickly just want to show you guys everyone's traits in this family since I forgot to do that the last two episodes that you guys would have seen. So I'm just going to tell you their traits. So little sweet Lucy has these traits. She is a coward, a vehicle enthusiast, and a hydrophobic. So Lucy is very interesting traits here. Um, She's going to be into cars, which you know what? I can kind of see her doing that like low key. And John's traits are he is family orientated, flirty, a hopeless romantic, and he's a dog person. And he's also nurturing as well. So yeah, John's just going to go upstairs and put Kathy into her bed, clean up this dirty ass diaper. This house is a freaking mess. Lucy has to go to school, so I'm going to send her to school because I don't want her to get a bad report card and to like get taken from the social worker because John is a single dad now. So, you know, we, we have a lot to do. I'm pretty sure they have a maid, but I can't be sure. This family family is so poor. We have 118 simoleons. John does have the want to join the oceanography career. I will probably have to send him down to the employment office because I don't think that he will get the job today. He did roll a want for a second job actually in the architecture career, which he usually does end up doing, but I think I'm going to stick with oceanography since he did the architecture career in my last game. He wants to fall in love. I think the best thing for us to do would probably be to see if we can find a career on the computer. If not, invite the nanny over and go onto a community lot to apply for some welfare and see if he can meet any sims that he could potentially fall in love with. I don't know. So we're going to have to see. Um, John's just gonna watch some TV. Probably just gonna like speed three this. He's going upstairs. Is he gonna go clean it? No, he's gonna go take a shower in the dirty ass freaking shower. That's disgusting, John. Oh my God. I'm just gonna get him to clean it before he leaves because he's gonna be going out with a dirty butt once again. Mans didn't clean anything. <laughs> okay, so there was nothing in the computer today. So John's honestly just gonna have to be checking it daily and just rely on welfare payments for now. I'm gonna have him go over to the phone and call the nanny over and we are going to head to the community lot where I have the welfare center. Okay, so John has arrived onto the community lot. I'm going to send him over here to apply for some welfare. He is going to need this since I don't even know how we're going to pay the nanny. She's probably going to be stealing something. All these sims in my freaking neighborhood are poor as hell, I swear. Like, the inheritance really does help this neighborhood so much. I see Cassandra over here talking to her little brother, Alexander. Cassandra is still 
pregnant as hell, I swear. I'm going to have John come out here and just like scope. He's just going to scope where there is adult Sims and see who stands out to him. I don't know. We do have Brandy as an option as well. He does have two bolts with her, but I don't see Brandy here. So I don't know how they're going to hit it off. Oh my God. Marilena Hamilton. John finds Ivy nice. He didn't roll the want to talk to her. He doesn't actually even have any bolts with her. That is interesting. I'm going to have John come out here and scope the area. I don't see anyone of potential who could show up, you know? I'm playing the oldies next, which I'm technically going to be playing today. So I'm literally going to have to play them in speed three because I can't with Elder Sims. At least the oldies. Uh, what is this? I'm just going to take it. Oh, it's a job. Oh my God, a handyman. I, I guess we can take it while we're looking for the job that we want. I can't tell how many bolts he has with her because it's not letting me go. I don't think he has any with her. Mortimer wants to greet John. I hate to do this, but I'm going to send John over to meet Nina and see what he thinks of her because Nina technically is available. So I don't know. I'm going to send John over there. Okay, uh, the witch is going crazy. John, just go in. Just go in and greet her. Herb is here. Go greet her. Can you not like go over there? Hello? He's talking about making out to a teenager. What a weirdo. Does he have bolts with her? I can't tell. Him and Nina have no chemistry whatsoever. I think I'm gonna send John home because it's getting late and like the witch is going crazy. Um, There's not really much going on. I could have him talk to Brandy since him and Brandy have the most bolts out of everyone that he's met today. And I've never had a game where John and Brandy have gotten together. So that would be interesting. But yeah, I'll see you guys at home. Okay, so we're back at the Berber house. John is not going to be back for four hours and 55 minutes. Bravo. He's going to be back for like heaps later. But yeah, Lucy is back from school and she brought home Chloe. Chloe is downstairs. She does have the want to become friends with her. So I'm going to help Lucy fulfill that. We're just going to have her go pee downstairs. And then I'm going to have her go over to Chloe and tell her a joke. Chloe's just making herself at home over here, you know, watching some TV. Not a problem. Uh, the nanny is literally just going in and out of bathrooms right now. Uh, okay, never mind. She wants to have a chat with her, so we're gonna chat. I see Don, the cheating piece of shit, as I always say, going past looking for his next woman to seduce, brushing off the dirt as if he even showers. Okay, they seem to be having a pretty good joke. They have a pretty good relationship so far. She wants to play with Chloe, so we could probably have them do a cops and robbers outside, you know, run around like crazy. She wants to do her homework. I think I'm going to lock that in, even though that will probably get fulfilled anyways at 7 p.m. because of the mod that I have, so I don't know. Nina's pissed about something out here. What is she thinking about? Ravi, look like you got something in your butt. What's wrong with you? Oh, okay, wait. They're not having a good conversation for a second. Lucy full on just ignored whatever Chloe just said. <laughs> They're gonna go play some cops and robbers now. Cute. Okay, so all the Sims in the household have aged. So these are our ages. John is 41 years old. Lucy is 11 years old. And Kathy is one years old. So we still have one more day left with this family. I don't know really what's going to happen. John still hasn't found his next potential love. But I'm going to have him call up Brandy tomorrow probably and see where they hit it off. Okay, so Lucy went to go pick up the phone and her uncle has called her to see how she's doing how the family is processing after losing jennifer and it's been really tough but they're having a pretty good conversation um she actually has a pretty good relationship with her uncle so that's actually really nice to see i'm really happy that daniel's calling up his family and seeing how they're doing and how they're processing and you know the family's grieving still they're still going through it but yeah, I'm just going to send Lucy upstairs to take a shower and stuff. And she's going to go do her homework after that. Chloe's leaving. I was going to send her home, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> Okay, so John is back. He is going to get the mail and he's just going to fill in this hole here, literally in front of the house. Like, what the hell? I'm going to dismiss the nanny. It is time for you to go home, old lady. I literally have her pulled up three times because I do not trust that I'm going to be able to dismiss this old lady. Okay, she's going. We're going to pay our bills. Oh my God, we do not have enough to pay our bills. I'm just going to have John dig for treasure since he can't pay his bills. We're going to see if we can dig up anything that's worthwhile. Okay, so he found something. He found a bone. How much is that? Like 60 freaking 
collected simoleons. Okay, that's just enough to pay our bills. I'm not complaining. So we're going to pay our bills. We're going to fill this in, chuck this out. The house is a mess. Lucy should be finished with her homework. She's just playing with her toys right now. She wants to play with her uncle. I'm going to lock that in. And probably just invite Daniel over tomorrow after school or something like that. But yeah, I'm probably going to send Lucy to bed soon. And I'm going to have John probably just make some food for himself. Because Lucy's going to be going to bed. He's just going to have a TV dinner. The most convenient meal in The Sims when you don't want to cook something too much or too little. Like, it's just enough, you know? So I'm going to send the family to sleep. Well, I'm going to send Lucy to sleep, actually. But John is just going to eat. He's going to go to the toilet, take a shower, and honestly, probably just head to bed because he has work tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So I'll see you guys in the morning with the family. Okay, so it's 6 a.m. in the Burb family and Lucy is up ready for school. She's just gonna play with her toys while her baby sister is screaming in the room next door, literally. Um, I don't know when John's gonna wake up. He, oh, he is up. Okay, never mind. He's gonna go change Kathy's diaper or not. Okay, he's gonna go feed her and then he's probably gonna change her diaper. I don't know what it, what John's doing this morning. He's a bit lost. It's his first day where he officially has to go to work and provide for the family. So it, it's quite a lot to do with this morning. Honestly, like she could do whatever she wants because the school bus is going to come soon. I'm just going to have John cuddle Kathy and just play with her. You know, it's it's been tough for this family. We're just trying to get through it day by day. Oh my god, John! I just realized he has the want to become friends with Nina, but he doesn't have any chemistry with her, so I don't exactly know what he wants there. As you guys can tell by looking at John's wants, I unlocked the want for him to join the oceanography career for the reason being that he, he hasn't been a handyman in my games before, and I kind of like that for John. Okay, so the school bus is here for Lucy, and she's going to just head off to school. I don't know if she's going to bring any friends home from school today but she does still have wants to be friends with sims so i love that she's really trying to just go through life and live her life you know not not let herself get held back okay and i sent john off to work but i forgot to call the nanny so i had to really quickly do that but yeah i'll see you guys when Lucy gets back from school. Okay, so Lucy is back from school and she has gotten an A minus report card. So she is very happy and satisfied with herself. I'm really happy that she's been staying on top of her studies, trying to at least pass in school. That's good to see. She does have the want to do her homework. So she's honestly just going to do that right now. Like get it over and done with. And she's just going to head downstairs and just get herself some cookies as a snack since her hunger's a bit down. And we're just going to wait for John to get back from work. I don't know if he's going to re-roll his wants. Okay, so John is back from work. He's just going to check the mail and pay even more bills that we do not have money for. There's actually 92 simoleons. Oh my god, I hope that we have enough to pay the nanny. I don't think we do. We are so poor. Oh my god, she's going to steal something. I'm just going to delete that because we don't have money oh wait she left okay no we're good i just literally deleted that for nothing i'm sad anyways so john's gonna come over here and he is going to call nina up he has the want to become friends with her so we are going to do that so we're gonna call nina up john immediately hung up oh i guess he's going to go age up kathy i totally forgot because she's probably the wrong age on my aging system but that's fine oh there she goes i think she has blonde hair I'm just going to have John. Oh, my God. He has the want to have another baby. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm just going to have John go change Kathy's appearance. And we're going to see who she looks like. Okay. So, this is Kathy Burb. This is the hairstyle that I've decided to go with. I think it really suits her. But she looks just like john she is so freaking cute i can't tell if she looks like jennifer she probably does a little bit but i mostly see john in her oh my god kathy is so cute i don't even think we're gonna have enough money you know to buy her the things that she needs like a potty chair and stuff because we are so poor so i don't know we're gonna be struggling for a while with this family i'm just gonna put kathy down and john's just gonna go use the toilet and i don't know i tried calling up nina but he went upstairs to age up kathy so he's gonna go chat to nina on the phone 
Lucy is sleeping. Uh, Lucy has the want to play with Daniel and I didn't get to fulfill this. So I think I'm going to unlock it and maybe lock in a want for her to become friends with one of these sims here. Probably just go with Marsha since that's what I originally wanted to do. She needs to go to the toilet. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to see if I have enough to get a party chair. Okay, the family had barely just enough to get this little party chair for Kathy. So we're just going to use that. You know, we're just going to make sure this goes up. I'm going to put her into bed after because she's tired. And we're going to go call Nina up because we've waited long enough to see if we can become friends with her i don't know what john's intention is behind becoming friends with her i don't know john's a little bit fishy i don't know he'd be acting fishy you know john is flirty and a hopeless romantic because always in every single game that i've had with john he always ends up cheating on his wife so we're just going to talk to nina they're talking about makeup okay he literally just hung up immediately go call her again it's going to take a while for them to become friends i think i might just invite her over honestly but let's see if she's gonna come over maybe she won't oh never mind she is gonna come over uh lucy why are you sleeping on the freaking couch go upstairs oh my god i swear also i just remembered the family has aged Okay, so our ages right now are John is 42 years old, Lucy is 12 years old, and Kathy is two years old. We also need to check Kathy's zodiac sign. So Kathy is a Gemini. I love that. Okay, so I'm just going to send Lucy upstairs to go to sleep for the night because this is the last night and last round that we are with this family. So yeah, we're just going to send Lucy upstairs to go to sleep. Uh, Nina is here and our bins are kicked over. I wonder who did that. Nina is pissed at the burglar that literally robbed her and took everything from her i swear we're gonna do a joke oh wait nina's picking up our trash she's trying to show that she'd be a good housewife what is this so john's gonna do a joke this is setting up for some sort of one night stand i swear to god nina's hand is glitched she looks so silly he's gonna admire her do another joke admire her again nina seems to be liking john's jokes they're gonna do a gossip. Let's see what type of gossip Nina has to share. Oh, okay. She doesn't seem interested in John's gossip. She's like, I don't need to know what you got going on. We're just gonna do an admire. I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard. It's because they have no chemistry together. That's why they're struggling. I don't know. I think it's for work because John does need two friends for work to be able to get a promotion. So I think it's just him wanting to fulfill that or him actually wanting to build something with Nina. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. It is almost 12 o'clock in the family. So I should probably send him to sleep soon since he does have work tomorrow. Okay, so Nina just said goodbye to John. It is getting extremely late and John's motives are terrible. Oh my God. And the toddler's screaming. I am just gonna have to send John to bed because he's literally on the brink of passing out i'll see you guys in the morning before eight o'clock with the family okay so it is 6 30 a.m in the burb family this morning lucy's playing with her toys once again in the morning before school her baby sister's going off i don't even know what to do because john literally went to bed at like 3 a.m last night he's like on half an energy right now like this is so bad i don't even know what to do but yeah we have one more hour until we leave this family there's not really much that's happened with this family we've kind of just been spending the time trying to get the family through i don't know if john has found his potential next love interest in nina i hope to god that it's not nina because we know what nina's like nina does not want to be in a committed relationship unless it's don of course <laughs> um but yeah it's been hard for this family but they've gotten through i haven't seen anyone crying they're feeling bright about what's ahead um lucy's jumping like crazy everywhere yeah i honestly think i'm probably just gonna leave this part off right here i don't really know not much has happened but we did have some stuff happen but yeah if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing i would really appreciate it i love making these videos so much i do apologize that i have been a little bit lackluster on my schedule but i am going to come up with a new schedule that will have to accommodate me a little bit better so yeah but yeah anyways i will see you guys in my next video bye everyone